All right, guys, the first thing I'm fixing to do is replace a stud that these damn race stars have done got me for. And the second thing that I'm going to be doing is putting on this BMR suspension. I have upper control arms that are fully adjustable, uh, lower control arms, trailing arms, everything. I'm probably not going to put on the upper control arms today uh, just because I have to drop the whole entire diff on one side, but I don't know. I'm going to look at it and check it out and see. All right, guys. So I got the lower trailing arms out, and now you can see the difference, man. These things right here got the rubber bushing, real flimsy and stuff, and this has got a spherical bearing. If I'm saying that properly, I have no freaking idea. So now all I have to do, make sure the same length because I'm not the one that's going to be doing the adjustments to them. Uh, I'm taking that to Nicky Loney at uh, Off-Road Performance. Uh, he's going to have all that done. It's going to go in here. Just two little bolts on each side. And then I'm also doing the upper control arm. But this one right here when it goes up in there i have to lower the cradle to get to that one so i'm probably going to do that one another day um so yeah all right guys Whew. that was a headache all right i got upper control arms in i still have to put the upper trailing arms on got the rear tow rods on uh this job right here, I mean, it looks super easy, but uh, I'll tell you right now, it could be a headache because <laughs> you really ain't got a whole lot of room to work with at all. Like, it, whoever, yeah. <laughs> but I'm getting it done. Uh, I'll try to start working on the other side. All right, guys. I have everything on on the other side. I did not think I was going to have to drop the cradle, um, but I did. Uh, and this little arm right here, the upper trailing arm, if that's what you want to call it, it doesn't matter to me. Um, I have to lower the rear cradle on this side. So, look straight up in there. I have to lower or loosen that bolt and come over here and there's another bolt on this side. I know it's probably hard for y'all to see, but I got everything on besides this one arm, and it looks pretty good. Uh, just kind of a pain in the ass. But uh, if y'all have any questions, y'all can let me know. I'll probably put like a detail thing in the comment or the description. Um, but I'm fixing to try to tackle this last little part, guys. So bear with me. All right, guys, I got this arm on. See, I lowered the cradle just a little bit and I got a jack under it right there. And it allowed me to clear this little spot. Let me see if I can get a good, whenever this is all the way up, the bolt is up in there. So whenever you get done doing this, if you do decide to do this, I wouldn't. Uh, I mean, unless you really know what you're doing. Um, you want to turn this bolt around so that way it'll come out this way. Because if you don't, and you ever need to replace these, or God forbid anything happen, uh, you're going to have to drop the cradle again. But if you flip the bolt around, like this right here, then you can get a wrench in there. No problem, just pull some of this stuff back. But I have to... Jack the cradle back up by myself, holding the spring, holding the shock in place, and everything. So, yeah, that's great. But, uh, yeah. It's turning out good so far. Alright, guys. I got it all done. All I gotta do now is just pull it off the jacks. Uh, let's see if we can get a rear view for you. Looks like a race car now, but it's still slow, unfortunately. 
But uh, yeah. Now all I have to do is take it to Nicky Looney at Off-Road Performance and let him adjust it because I have no idea what I'm doing. All I did was just take the arms and put the bolts through the old arms and basically make it the same exact as factory. Like, I, So nothing is adjusted. I mean, it's a little bit more uh, stable and stuff like that, but it's not like set up yet so but i'm getting there hopefully but all right well i appreciate you guys watching uh if you got any questions i can tell you where to go get this stuff uh bmr suspension uh man i i, I think it's really good stuff i see it used a lot on mustangs i personally have had no experience with it but i know if there ever was a problem, I know they take care of their customers. So y'all take it easy and have a good one. We'll see you on the next one.